everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing well and staying safe and for this project i'm going to show you guys how to crochet this dishcloth or washcloth depending on what you're going to be using yours for but it's a nice small project that you can do really fast this stitch is called a falling leaf stitch so it's it creates a very dense um, project a very dense work as you can see here you can barely see through it which helps if you're going to be using it as a, as a washcloth to be able to clean yourself or to clean your dishes. Um, also, I made it in this square shape and I added um, a loop here or like a, um, a, I guess a string where you can hang, hang your work to dry or just to store it. So this is what we're going to be doing. I like to do a project and complete it before I show you guys what we're doing. That way you can kind of at least get to understand uh, what you're getting yourself into but this is pretty much what we're going to be making okay so for this project we're going to be needing a yarn this one here is, is a scrap yarn that I've had laying around and I'm going to be using it to show you guys how to do this tutorial uh, this one is an acrylic and so is this one here if you're going to be making um, a dishcloth or a washcloth it's probably recommended that you use cotton because it's easier to clean Okay, but this one is in acrylic just because I don't have any cotton yarn laying around. So this is what we're going to be using. And then you're going to be needing your scissors to cut any strands at the end of your project. Your crochet hook, I'm going to be using a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. You can use a 5 or even a 4, um, but for this size yarn, I, I would use between 4.5 and, and 5 okay so let's get started so for the start of this project we're going to start off with a slip knot just like so and then we're going to chain up multiples of three plus two so in this project we're going to chain up 32 which is multiples of three up to 30 and then our plus two okay so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten So now that we have our 32 chains, okay, you're going to start with your first row and you're going to just make sure your chain is straight and facing you like that. And in the very first uh, chain space here, not the one where the hook is coming uh, through, but this next one to it, we're going to start off with doing, oops, we're doing a single crochet in that space. Oopsie. Just like that. And then we're going to do two double crochets in that same space. So in this space here, we're going to do two double crochets. So that's one, then two. Oopsie, there you go. So that's our first leaf there. And then you're going to skip, see this chain here where the hook is coming through? You're going to skip that this this and in this third one here you're going to do a single crochet just like that and then two double crochets in the same space like so one and two okay and then again we're going to skip this and go one two and in here, you're going to start off with doing a, a single crochet and then two double crochets in the same space. So one and two. Okay. So this is how your work should look like so far. So there's three leaves we have done. Okay. And this is pretty much what we're going to be repeating all the way to the end. So one two three and in here we do a single crochet and then two double crochets in the same space these projects are easy because you end up repeating the same thing over and over so you can see that we have four so go ahead and continue doing it until you have your last four chains left and then i'll show you guys how to finish it off there okay
okay so at the end here you should have your final three chains and what you will do you will just do a single crochet at the end here okay so you just kind of close it off like that so you stop doing the single crochet and two double crochets in the same space you just do a single crochet at the end okay so as you can see it should look something like that and then to go into row two you're going to chain one turn your work around and then in this very first chain here you're going to do your single crochet like that and then two double crochets in the same space so we're starting our row at the beginning just like that okay so that's one single crochet and two single crochets okay and then you're going to skip two so you're going to skip one and two so the third one should be the one that is right in the middle here and you're going to do your single crochet there and then two double crochets in that same space one and two okay and then you're going to skip two so one two and in the third you're going to do your single crochet and then two double crochets in the same space Just like that okay so this is how your second row should look like so far so go ahead and repeat that and when you get to the end here I'll meet you there so I can show you guys how to go into row three okay so when you get to the end of cha uh, of row two just like this okay so you're going to do the same thing which is where you skip two chains so one two and in this third one here you're going to do a single crochet okay so just like that okay so you're not doing the leaf at the end as well you're just closing it off with a single crochet and then you're going to chain one turn your work around and then you're pretty much going to repeat in this very first space here you're going to do your single crochet and then two double crochets in the same space so that's the first double crochet oops and your second double crochet okay and then you're going to skip two one two and in the third which is here you're going to do your single crochet and then two double crochets in the same space okay so this is pretty much what you're going to be doing all throughout the project and as you can see it just so happened that when we do the skipping two chains and doing the the leaf in the middle it just so happened to be in these uh, dented spaces here okay well, then when you get to the end you skip one two and you do your single crochet at the last stitch here chain one turn your work around and continue until you get the size that you're looking for so in this case here you're going to keep going until you get the size whether it's a bigger size than this or a smaller size than this anyways nevertheless you're going to come back and then we're going to complete the project and also keep in mind the best way to keep your work even is to count the number of leaves per row so as you can see on the very first row we did there was one two three four five six seven eight leaves and there should be eight in the second as well which is one two three four five six seven eight and in the third we should also have eight so we already have two here then we should have three four five six seven eight because we're putting one in each of these dented space here okay so go ahead and continue to do these projects repeat exactly what we have done here and then when you have the size that you desire for your uh, dishcloth or your um, washcloth come back to the video and then i'll show you guys how to do a finishing off okay i'll see you guys in a bit okay guys so this is where i'm going to stop this project uh then we can do the borders and the reason for that honestly is i ran out of yarn i have this much left and i still have to do uh, a border okay so because of that i don't want to keep going and be out of the yarn before the project is up so this is how many rows i'm going to do so we will count so these bumpy rows here counts as two in one okay so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen so we have 14 rows total here of this leaf uh, stitch 
in this um in this shape okay and so now that we're at the end here we're going to do what we've been doing which is we skip one two and in the third stitch we're going to do a single crochet just like that okay but we're going to do a little bit more here we do a single crochet and then we're going to do two double crochets in that same space so just like so okay and then we're going to chain one and then do a single crochet in the same spot and then two more double crochets in the same spot okay so this corner here we're creating a really nice and um, thick corner so that's one and two okay so this is what we're aiming for for this corner and then when you're done that you're going to go in each of these spaces here and do single crochet and then of course two double crochets so one and two okay and then you're going to skip this area go into this next space here and do your single crochet and then two double crochets in that space same spot okay and then single crochet right here and then two double crochets in the same spot so one and two okay so this is the consistency of how you do the border just because we want the border to look like this so it's nice and it finishes off with this same design on the edges okay so go ahead and continue to do that all around until you come back to this area okay but remember when you get to the corner you're going to do one single crochet two double crochets chain one a single crochet and a two double crochets in the same gap then when you have that done you're going to use your spaces here to do your single crochet and two double crochets all across and then you repeat the same thing in this corner this corner and then come and meet me when you're in this final corner here where we're going to create this loop here okay so go ahead and do that and i'll see you guys in a minute okay guys so i hope you're also at this spot here where we have done our outlining of the um of this project okay so now when you get to this section here you're just going to do a quick slip knot right here to connect the gap so that we don't have this big gap here okay so we're just going to do a quick slip knot like that okay and then we're going to start our um this section this loop here that we use to hang it if you if you want one if you don't then this is where you will just kind of cut your yarn and close it off and it's just a square like that but if you want to have these um the the hanging uh a string here then you're going to have to do a couple of chains so in my case i'm going to do about 10 so one two three four five six oops six seven eight nine ten then when you have your ten chains you're going to just bring it down and just right in the middle here in the chain you're going to do a quick slip knot or slip stitch I should say oops oopsie okay let's try that again so just go in the middle stitch right here bring it back out and then do your slip stitch slip stitches are really hard to do especially with a big needle like this it's a little bit hard to do okay so when you have it like that you're going to cut your yarn and by the way if you want this to be longer you could do many cha more chains but in this case i'm just doing 10. i'm going to cut my yarn there and then i'm going to do a slip knot like that just to secure it okay so just like that okay so this is pretty much the end of this project you guys so this is how it looks like so in in the case that you use um 
use a darning needle to weave this in you would cut this yarn a little bit longer and then insert this and weave it in but what I do because I really don't like weaving in my ends I just do a knot here like I tied like this tight very 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 close to the beginning of the string and then I cut it just like that and then for this hanging I just kind of tuck it in and I kind of find a space to move it so that it disappears and it makes it looks neat so for example I'm going to just kind of tuck it into this little chain here Okay, just like that and then it's gone that way I don't use a darning needle because I struggle so much to put the yarn through this hole here is ridiculous like I, I waste so much so I'm just trying to do that so I go the easy way out okay so this is how it looks like okay this is the previous project that I did okay so as you can see it looks like it's almost the same size but it's crazy because this is actually two rows less than this but anyways this is how it looks like it's nice it's cute and um, yeah i hope you guys enjoyed uh, doing this project with me if you did subscribe to my channel uh, give a thumbs up comment share this video with your friends and i will see you guys in the next video ciao ciao